Okay, we're still here. It's a week later. We've been pestered by the chicken man, chicken one of one, to get on with it. But we can't get on with it because we were also uh, ridiculed, mocked, and corrected for skipping over the imminent H-bomb that is about to take place here. Good night, sweet count. You will see this on replays for the rest of your life. Dan Henderson knocking out Michael Bisping and finishing it with an absolute death from above. <laughs> the H-bomb. So there you go. Covered it. BJ's hanging out. What's up, BJ? BJ almost went to the beach with me, but I left him home. And this, if you're wondering, this is some box topper uh, thing. I, I, uh, I don't know what set. Knockout? Doesn't say. It's uh, number one of ten, though. So that's cool. We got that. It also messes up the camera focus, so we'll get rid of it. I got this box of Tops Round 2 from uh, Chicken One of One. He is on Whatnot. He likes to rip for your enjoyment. You can buy spots, and he will break with you. Uh, he also gets old cases, not just new Panini shit. He gets old shit. He gets bloodlines, uh, which I talked to him at great length about, because if he finds a Khabib out of 88, I will buy it sight unseen. Or a CR Baja de Reza out of 88, I will buy it sight unseen, because those are the only two I have left to collect out of 88 from 2012 bloodlines. But today, tops around two. We found some we found some not valuable cards last time, but certainly awesome cards. Um, probably my favorite from the last video is now a toss up between the ultimate fight poster review UFC one, which I can't it's so detailed, I can't even describe how good it is. You should just buy one. They're not very expensive on eBay. Just hook yourself up because it's the coolest. There are no rules. Live, November 12th. Zane Frazier, 222 pounds. Hailing from Hollywood. Super heavyweight something or other. What's it say? I can't even read it. The writing is so small. This is when they put... This is when posters were cool. And they still are in Ryzen. And maybe one sometimes. And there's always an occasional good one from Deep or something. But posters that are cool. Posters that tell you stuff. Not posters of two fighters with their faces facing each other. And two other fighters from the co-main event with their faces facing the camera. No. We need... A dude jumping on a dude with what may be a Gracie throwing up a mm, some sort of attempt at a guard. That's what we need. And a lot of words. So, uh, take note, UFC. Your posters are boring. You can be better. Would you like to see an example of two fighters facing each other? They're facing away from each other. Oh, look, two more fighters in silhouettes behind them. <laughs> My co-host went to that show. Anyway, it was either that or it was the Carlos Condit Natural Born Killer rookie card, gold. This card's amazing. It may be damaged. I cannot tell what the deal is going on with this line on the side. I don't care. I'm keeping it forever. Thank you, chicken. So, mail call. I don't mind if I do. 99 cents. Get on eBay. Bid on cool old shit. Don't let me get these for a dollar. 2010, Leaf, MMA. National Pride Auto, Shane Carwin. This is another level of patriotism. It's not quite Tim Kennedy uh, dual auto with uh, Brian Stan. It's not quite there. But, come on. 
Look at that. Out of 60. Got the flag on the back. Love it. We got a uh, what I thought was an on card, but it's not. It's uh, the tape is actually diagonal on this. Francisco Rivera, 99 cents. 99 cents. No. Yeah. I think I paid 99 cents. I didn't pay more than five bucks. Knockout auto. Yeah, okay. Yeah, he's not in the UFC anymore. I know, it's fine, because he fought in island fights this weekend. I think he got knocked out. I don't remember. It doesn't matter. Let's look. I got the computer in front of me. Rivera. Dude's like ninth down on the list. Francisco was in island fights. No contest with Ricky Bendejas. Accidental eye poke in round two. Ends early. Maybe he was getting beat up. I don't remember. It doesn't matter. It's fine. Also, fully just keep on working on that. 2010 Leaf Red Auto set. I, You know, this is the one with... These are the cards with Fedor. These are the cards with Bones. Not Bones first auto, but, you know, early Bones auto 2010. Karina Dam and Rafael Feijão Cavalcante. So I added two more. There was a there was a clay guida that went for like three bucks. It's just they're, they're stupid low prices. So um, feel free to get yourself some leaf MMA because in other words I'll buy it all and my wife will not appreciate that. All right. Uh, that's a relic. That feel they all feel like little bricks. Ooh, ooh. They all feel thick. They literally, every single one of them feels like it's got a relic card in it because of the, the gold. So I talked to Chicken a little bit more. Chicken thinks I'm going to get at least two numbered base cards. I'm just going to pull all these up. Let's, let's go here. Let's shuffle them up. Let's get rid of the box. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of packs in here. 16 packs in a box. Two autos, two relics. Probably use that later. When we'll just we'll just go. We'll we'll get a hit. We'll get something good. Something. Something. Jonathan Goulet, that's a name I know. Not a name I recognize. George Soderop. Uh George with back mount on on who? Oh. Can't read the it says Nazo Boxing on the tap out shorts. I don't know who that is. I wanted to say George uh Mosvidal, but I don't think that that's correct or really fair. I just like ragging on Matt Osvidal a little bit too much. Spencer Fisher, uh, made famous, but tragically, because of that expose piece in maybe MMA fighting about fighters, fighter CTE stuff, you can read it. Now I feel like I should link it. I don't want to. It's sad. Who wants that? <laughs> yes. Chris lights out Lytle. I think he's punching Josh Koscheck there, but they are both absolutely covered in blood. That card is fucking phenomenal. Look at all the blood. Oh my god, that's great. They would never put this on a Panini card. Oh, Top's just leaning into it for round two. I love it. Uh, we got a Bloodlines. Nice. Efrain Escadero, Bloodlines. This is... Is this a parallel? No. It's not numbered. It just looks super cool. Super cool looking Bloodlines insert from Efrain Escadero. Very nice. Good inserts in this set, except for those video game ones. We don't talk about those. All right, we got another base card here. Mike Masenzio, UFC debut. Looks like he's got a Kimura. Will he finish it? 
He does, forcing McFredris, Drew McFedries, to tap out via Kimura in 88 seconds. That will make Jonas so happy. Very nice. Very nice for the Discord, for the MMA Love Discord. And we got a thick George St. Pierre card. This is thick, but it's silver. It's numbered out of 188 GSP. I am I am inclined to scream bang like I was a breaker on whatnot for that card. The uh, the corner is is absolutely mangled up there, um, unfortunately. But punching Matt Hughes corner at the bottom is absolutely mangled as well. That's okay. That's still an eight or a not. Uh, well, seven or an eight. Silver GSP, uh, not a not debuting because he's been around and popular, so they probably had him in round one some way somehow. But very cool, very cool. <laughs> really, actually, actually, really, really, actually, hitting some uh, some heat in this box. Hell yeah. Didn't expect it. And uh, Dave Kaplan, UFC debut versus Junie Browning. Ank Toehold? I'm not really sure what's going on here. It seems like the dude getting toeholded could just keep spinning his, his body to his right. But I don't know. Oh, God. I was out of focus the whole time. Sorry. I should look through the camera. Anyway. It seems like he could keep spinning, but I don't know. Let's make sure we were in focus. Absolutely fantastic. Not as excited as I am for the Carlos Condit gold rookie, because I love the natural born killer, but just the same. GSP, very possibly, very possibly goat. Should we... Uh, perhaps check value of that card. Probably should just to see. I mean, I paid I paid a a not insubstantial amount of money for this box, so maybe we should see if we can make a little of it back. If we hit a red auto of somebody, then that's the that's 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 the that's the Willy Wonka ticket. Um, let's see. GSP round two silver. No. Yeah. Yeah, eBay's hard to search. I mean PSA seven gold, they they seem to want it. they seem to want two twenty five for that. Let's see. Round two. Silver, 188. None for sale. Complete base set, silver 188 set for 2,000 bucks. That's not, that's, that's, uh, that's solid. None for sale, none in completed listings. A fight mat. PSA six went for ten bucks, so there. I don't think there's a ton of demand, um, but you know, whatever. There's none for sale. Maybe I'll throw it up there and see if we can make make a little money back from this this whole thing. I I don't PC GSP. I just end up having a lot of good GSP cards. Um, through no fault of my own, he's just in a lot of sets. Like you'll rip a museum box a museum hobby box, and he'll be one of the cars because he's in every single set. He's very popular. Tyson Griffin. Yeah. 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 That, that's what, the slowest puncher with the most success ever in the UFC, fighting in the UFC forever. Short fuse. Just retired. Yeah. Yeah, I'm an Ed Herman fan, you guys. 
that's fucking awesome. That's real. That's real good. That's just a base card, but still, that makes me happy. There's blood in this. There's he looks bloody. He could just be tanned. Lots of tribal tattoos going on here too. Like it. I appreciate that. Let's see what they say. Are there any doubts following his stint on the third season? They were silenced by his victories over Chris Price, Scott Smith, and Joe Dorkson. Dorkson. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, people got to write this copy. It's amazing. People got paid to write this copy. Dustin Hazlett. I know that name. Ooh, that. It feels like a thick card, but it's not. I don't know. I don't know. Joe Daddy. Wrapping up a guillotine. Perhaps getting a tap soon. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. KO, Rory Markham, UFC 14. This, I know I watched. Is that 14? In 2008, UFC 14? So these are like some fights I watched because I ended up going through and watching like the first 40 UFCs. I don't remember this dude. That's fine. I don't remember most dudes. No offense to any of you out there who I've forgotten. I like you all. I'm going to save the um, the, the uh, parallel for the last because, oh my God. <laughs> oh, <no>. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Jesus. Who is who is dead? Who is dead in front of Eve Levine with his leg twisted backwards? Oh, oh my God! Oh, you guys! For all you Connor noobs out there, that's Eve Levine. He was fired by the UFC for letting people get killed in the octagon. I don't remember which one was the worst. I don't remember which one like pushed Dana over the edge and Dana was like, he's never working here again. He's never working in our cage again. Blah, 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 blah. I don't remember. I want to say it was Cyborg versus Shayna Baszler. Oh, fuck. Now I have to look. God damn it. That's, that is, that is fucking stupendous. All right. So how would I look that up on topology? They don't do it by ref. I guess Cyborg. No, we'll look up Baszler. So base Shayna, Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler. Oh, it's B A S C. Okay. And she she fought Cyborg. Dear God, she went on and fought a lot more. Okay, she fought Cyborg in two thousand eight. Who was the ref? Oh, it was Mazagati. That was the one Mazagati got fired for. Which one did? All right, Discord. YouTube comments. Everybody, chime in. Let's move these out of the way and see if this can focus. Chime in. Why did Eve get fired? Inquiring minds want to know. Uh, last one. UFC rookie card, JDS. Uh, JD, this card would have been worth money not more than four or five years ago. Because JDS knocked out Kane. JDS knocked out a lot of motherfuckers. Um, I think he even knocked out for, for Doom there. But then uh, he got knocked out a lot. And then he got cut from the UFC. And now he's knuckling or boxing or something. Yeah, he knocked out. Knocked out for Doom in the first round. That's a, This is an excellent copy. Knocked out for Doom in the first round. Propelled Dos Santos into the consciousness of fight aficionados by knocking someone unconscious, propelled into the consciousness. I love it. Okay, and uh, last but not least, bang. I will I will say bang, GSP gold. So now we got a gold and a silver. This one is, um, this one is actually in better shape than the silver, except for this little corner here is a little, a little nubby. What, what are you gonna do? Uh, you're going to grade it, PSA it? I don't know. Let's see. We'll see what they go for. I don't know. 
It's fine. Thank you, chicken man. We got GSP cards, folks. 2009 tops round two, gold and silver. Might as well just get make the rainbow. Where is the ruby? What else is there in these? Gold, silver, ruby. Uh, that might be it. I don't think they got too crazy. I'm looking at inserts now. I actually just want to see the overview. UFC round two. Inserts and related sets. Bronze, diamond, gold, ruby, silver. So ruby is eight. Bronze is 88. Okay, so we got 188, 88, 8, and 1. It's not bad. We got the two lowest. Hey, I'll take it. But we still don't have an autograph or a relic. And I'll do this all night. I'll make an, I'll make a three-hour video. I'll take all the time I want. You want me to rip packs faster? I am not that kind of guy. I'm sorry. We got a relic. We got a relic, which means it's only autos from here on out. Uh, we'll pull the card so that it's on the bottom because I've I've been I've been being taught by the greatest. The debut of Javier Felpa Pokem. Felpa Pokem? UFC 97 Redemption. Dennis Kang. Uh, I don't know who that is, but I do. I remember Dennis Kang's name. I don't remember this dude at all. I never watched UFC 97, though, so that's on me. Got another rookie. Matt Veach versus Matt Grice. Or Greet. Greet? I think it's Grice. Uh, let's see what happened in that fight. Because did Grice get beat? Yes. Roared back from a rocky start to halt Matt Grice in the opening 26 seconds. Oh, with 26 seconds left. Good. Good. Got a rookie card. What else we got? Tiago Alves. Fairly certain he's a knuckler now. Roger Huerta, punching, I believe, punching Clay Guida. That hair is hard to miss. Could be somebody else with big hair. Da, 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 da. Doesn't say on the back, but that's happy. Very good. Uh, this one is, this one was upside down, but it's not numbered. So I guess that's insignificant. It's probably just because it's a vertical Vonderlay. Excellent picture. Vonderlay up on the cage celebrating destroying someone. Oh, my favorite right winger, Pat Militic. He was at January 6th. Go, Pat. Good for you, pal. I think he's punching boss there. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. What else we got? This is the uh, bad insert set. This is the video game cards, UFC Undisputed. And then uh, we got our Relic, which is fantastic stuff. Diego Sanchez, winding up. Can you focus? Thank you. Winding up, about to punch someone at UFC 76. Yes. Yes. Yes, cartwheel. No number. Base relic. Very nice. How's it feel? Feels like a map. Feels like it should. Yes, cartwheel indeed. Is that the right side? Yeah, I think it is. Did I do that right? Yeah, I did. Okay. All right. All right, all right, all right. So, two relics down. No relics left. Two autos to go. We got our Chuck Gold Relic out of 88. Right? No. 199. 66 of 199. Can't see it. You'll have to trust me. And Diego. No number. Base relic. Life is good. We got a GSP silver. That's insane.
buddy. Hell yes. I mean, hell. We got a Pat Militich base card. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Damn, what am I going to do with these GSP cards? All right. We got to figure it out. So that means I, I think we just did two packs and that's it. Three packs. There's three wrappers on the floor around me. So we got an extra one for next time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine left. These boxes. This old product just, it just hits different, man. I was looking at some Panini earlier. Like thinking, Al, I'd spend 50 bucks on a 2023 Prism undercard box. Get an auto that's worth a dollar. And then I didn't buy it because I could spend 50 bucks on 2010 Leaf MMA. <laughs> why would I? Why would I buy something that's just going to immediately lose value? I mean, I guess the chase of the the chase of the the Hezbula. I mean, the Hezbula calls to some people. They have to answer. That little gremlin, that little that little scallywag driving driving his car like a crazy person in Dagestan, getting arrested. But these older these older cards, tops. You look at this base card, and this 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 splatter of 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 splatterness across here, and and how it flashes different than the back, and how it how it's even on an old photo like this, it, it it's just a different. These older cards. They just have a certain kind of trashiness to them that you really have to sort of you tap into like it's your your tap out or your affliction t-shirt from 20 years ago that you found at a thrift store you know it it's a lot i know the design is a lot i know but i want you to notice something Maybe not let's not use that one let's use this one let's let's notice something here okay got just the fighter just the fighter their auto they got it they got it says the leaf you know it like it, it needs to have the the brand name whatever we got the fighter it doesn't even say tops on the front it just says ufc fighter's name their weight class and the picture We've got the fighter, their weight class, the brand name, the UFC brand name, about a, a quarter of the card taken up by the border. It's, it's just, I just, I like having those old cards that are just, they're just all card, you know? There's nothing, look at this, look at this old Diego Nunes one. This is from 2012 Knockout. There's nothing else going on here. UFC, fighter. Not even a weight class. That's, that's, this is the be this is the way right here. Fan this is fantastic stuff. They did some other interesting shit. They did the stylized ones in the, in the Moment of Truth cards so that it lo they look kind of like uh, cartoony, kind of, like illustrated. Pretty neat, which I like, actually. Be different. Use the big photo. Because all this does right here, all this does is show me that this side is off center from that side, that this side is thicker by about a tiny bit, right? Like you can see it. You don't need that. I don't need any of that. So when you have these old, these old cards with these blood spatter paint splatter border things going on. I don't know. It just feels more special. It's got like di like, like steel diamond plate from the, from my truck tailgate in the back too. It's good shit. They're just, they're, they're just doing what I like. Sure. Yeah, do it. They're just letting the uh, art department at tops have their way with it. Cause no one gave a shit <laughs> and they made awesome cards. I want, uh, I want Tops to hook it up with One FC now, and just just re, just make a new line of MMA cards about One FC. 
I think I think some stamp cards would be fantastic. I just fucked my camera up because I'm I was leaning on it. Sorry. Anyway, I'm done bitching. This is this wasn't supposed to be a bitch bitch fest show. We've done those before. Matt and I can bitch with the best of them. This was a no podcast weekend rip session for special request for the chicken man. There you go. There you go. GSP, gold and silver. Uh, I'm not going to say I made my money back on this box, but I might try to. So we'll probably do another one of these next week or we'll get mad in here. We'll rip some K1. I still have a K1, still have a K1 box to open. I don't even know where that went. It's like buried over there somewhere. I haven't watched last night's UFC. I hear Matt Brown is still a gangster. Thank God. So life is good. We got an Ed Herman card. We'll talk to you later.